If you are a faculty member at STCC, did you know that the library can make custom resources such as videos and web pages tailored to you and your course? This video will explain the custom resources which are available to you through the library. But first, let's listen to some faculty members as they share how these library resources have supported their teaching. First, would you mind telling me about what library resources have been the most helpful to you or to your students? Well, I think um, the first thing would be re research materials for developing my coursework. Um, you know, that was my introduction to the library at STCC. And, um, and then, of course, that uh, evolved um, into getting new books for our collection. Um, and that and thus our students um, and specifically, you know, photo books and um, monographs so that students could go into the library, take library books out, you know, have these really large, you know, full page pictures that they can turn the pages and actually experience um, uh, the, the photography um, in the way that it was intended by the photographer. Um, it was, it's just always been really, really helpful. And everyone at the library um, has always been uh, ready to ready to help. I'm so glad to hear that. And I wanna say for people listening that we are always happy to get suggestions of, for books. That's not, a, you know, we may or may not be able to, to get every single thing, but we always appreciate it. We'd rather buy something if we know it's gonna get used. So never feel like you're bothering us. We're always happy to hear, hear yeah. suggestions of any kind really. Yeah. And I was also wondering, if you've used any of our custom resources, because you might know that we make these things we call libguides, which are basically like uh, custom simple web pages. And we also can make custom instructional videos so that people can kind of just put them in their blackboard or play them in class. So I'm wondering if you've used any of those. Well, I've actually used both. I mean, I've, I've used materials like when it came to MLA, uh, you know, and, and citations, uh, I've used um, the, the course libguide specifically for Art 150 Photo One, where, you know, all these resources are on one page, you know, and students are able to click on film or cameras or history of photography and, and, and immediately be brought to like another 10 <laughs> links of information. So that's always been really helpful when they're working on their research project. I'm glad that you've used those. I'm glad they've been helpful. Yes. And the databases too, even just learning about all the different databases that when you go into the library website, uh, you know, there's, there's all these doors that you can open up to. Mm -hmm. And also just one last thing though, and I was thinking about this um, just the other day about the accessibility, you know, like that this isn't an exclusive space, you know, that the library is open to everyone, you know, uh, just like the gallery is open to everyone, just, you know, like that these spaces are for everyone to enjoy and everyone to get the most that they can out of, you know, so it's oh, absolutely. really wonderful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We want people to, to come by. <laughs> I was wondering if you could tell me just how the library has supported you in your teaching. Yes, uh, it supported me in a lot of ways. Uh, when I first started, uh, it was uh, uh, back sick in like 2007, uh, brought students into the library a lot, things like that to get them acquainted with it. Uh, but more recently, uh, all the digital resources that you have, the different pages for, I'm forgetting the name, for like the different topics for US history, like even for the honors program, uh, citations, stuff like that, uh, able to integrate those into my classes, actually put links directly to them in Blackboard. And so this way, it. Uh, just ease it's to like actually make them part of the menu on Blackboard and uh, send students there. So it's it's a huge help. Um, it uh yeah it, it's great to have everything collected like that, uh, vetted by professionals. All that's all well done. And so yeah, it just it, it makes my job easier and knowing that I can rely on what, what you all have done there. So it's never great. Yeah, never a worry for me. Um, has anyone ever made you a custom video? No, I don't think so. But I do use films on demand where I do create clips. Of uh, from stuff like that, but yeah, cool. the custom video. No, I didn't even know that. That, hmm, that would be helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it's like exactly. the main the main purpose of this video is just to let faculty know that we make those web pages, we make yeah. videos, and we can make like lists of resources as well. What library resources do you think have been most helpful, either to you or to your students? I'd be interested to know either. Uh, yeah, I think one of the most useful is the citation guides uh, and the citation guidelines for the libguides. Uh, 
because for history, we use something different than uh, that they use in pretty much, you know, sociology, uh, English or anything like that. So having all of those listed there and as long as students are following those, that's been really helpful. Also makes it easier for me to not have to um, reteach it all. You know, it's all right there. It's really easy to follow. That's been really, really helpful. And I, since I've started using those, uh, I've noticed students' uh, citation work has gotten a ton better um, and clearer and more consistent uh, when they follow that. I've heard feedback from students saying they really like that, having that all in one. It depends how long it's been since comp one or whatever when they when they you know when they first mm -hmm. did that. So it's a good refresher. I also like the uh, videos on demand. Um, that's been really helpful, especially in the world history courses I teach, um, because you have to cover so much and uh, so many different areas that it has such great uh, documentaries on there. And some of them are huge, like especially when I get into history of China, and you're talking about you know thousands upon thousands of years. So you could just create clips uh, from there and I could uh, direct students there, post them right in Blackboard and things like that. That's been really helpful. And uh, having them all going to the same place and uh, not having to worry about it, something you know came down off of YouTube or something like that. It's, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's been really helpful to find resources there and um, uh, a good videos to uh, supplement what, the, what, what I do in class. Collaborating with the library can make your job easier and more effective. By connecting your students with all the resources which are available to them through the library, you are setting them up for success in your course. You can request custom library resources at any time, and if you have any questions, feel free to email us at stcclibrary at stcc.edu.